Have you ever struggled with feeling contentment in your personal life? Well, if so, stay tuned because that's what we're talking about in this video. Welcome back everyone, my name is Christian Smith. Welcome to the channel. On this channel we look at how the Bible helps us to live life to the fullest. I am sure you've heard the phrase that the grass is always greener on the other side. You see, on this side this field is very much green, on the other side it is very much dead. Sometimes we feel that way in our life, so we're going to look at what does the Bible have to say about experiencing true biblical contentment in our own lives. One of the things that prohibits contentment in our life is that we're always looking at the next new thing, we're looking at other people's lives, and we don't prioritize what's most important. In Matthew 6, 32 and 33, it says, For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. You see, as we begin to look up, that is when our lives will also begin to look up to seek first the kingdom of God because he will provide all of our needs, but we need to trust him with that. So another verse that we use often, but we don't realize what the full context is, is found in Philippians 4. But instead of just verse 13, we're gonna look at verse 12 as well. It says, for I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or whether hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength." You see, to have contentment is when Christ is with us, seeking Him. He gives us the strength to be truly at peace, and He is the only thing that can give us full contentment in our own lives. The third and final verse I want to share with you on contentment is actually in 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 4. As we know, it's the love chapter, and you probably wouldn't think about that being connected with contentment. But in verse 4, it says, love does not envy or boast. And the reality is when we're not feeling content in our own hearts, we're being envious of others, or we're boasting about how life is, though we may feel broken in our own hearts. And so when we look at the love of Christ for us and we seek for Him to live in us and to share that love to those around us, then envy and boasting begin to dissipate and contentment comes into our lives and it changes us completely. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next video. See, if you want grass to get greener, what you do is simply water it. Just, just, just water it. And, you know, not just with any water, but for us, with a living water, of Jesus.